What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is still Sunday evening, and I wanted to address uh, Greg Doucette's claims upon terkesterone. Uh, some of you guys have been asking me recently as far as the whether it worked or not. Uh, and here's the thing. About a year ago, I had already put up a video in regards to terkesterone uh, in response to Dave Palumbo's video. Uh, so I'm pretty much going to repeat the same thing, but at the same time, I'm going to add a couple of other, uh, tidbits as well, based upon, uh, what Greg Doucette has actually said there. Now, first and foremost here, turkesterone does work there. It lowers cholesterol, uh, keeps down the blood pressure, and that by itself allows you to build more muscle mass there, you know? Because if your body is well-tuned and functioning, it's going to have the ability to build more muscle there. And that's pretty much what I said a year ago. And to summarize, because I'm not going to go back and do another 10-minute video, that's pretty much it. The terkesterone works by making your body work better, you know. But the thing about it is, is that a lot of these people are essentially exaggerating the claims would be the best way I can describe it. Not so much. I don't want to go to the point to where I would call someone a liar or anything like that. But, you know, these exaggerated claims have just simply got to stop there, you know. Turkesterone today is no different than Turkesterone 50 years ago. It is being it is being marketed as real steroids, real testosterone and stuff like that. And it is not it. It is not even a pro hormone. It's not even close to that. It is a plant sterile. OK, just because something has the word sterile or steroids and it doesn't mean it's going to be anabolic. Take cholesterol, for example. You know, what about uh, steroids for pain relief and stuff like that? You know. It seems as though that, you know, when you hear the word sterile or steroids, oh my gosh, I'm going to get jacked. I'm going to look like Ronnie Coleman. Well, uh-uh, no, you're not going to go look like Ronnie Coleman here. So, Greg, you, you, you my nigga and everything like that, but you got to quit exaggerating the claims here as far as the effectability of terkesterone. That guy you brought in there with you, uh, stating that it was really working for him. It, here, here's the thing. I would have to put this in the file bin of anecdotal evidence here, okay? Because at the same time, there's a couple things you have to figure out. You know, what other supplements is this guy taking? Has he changed his routine, his diet, and everything like that? Is it, how can you know specifically that this product, Terkesterone, is the sole cause of him building muscle if he built muscle there. If you guys remember the Colorado experiment there, when Casey Viator went and leaned down to 180 pounds and then with the uh, hit training got back up and built like they claim of 60 pounds of muscle, you know, and stuff, when all it is is just a body reverting it back to itself. I see this as like a bunch of little mini Colorado experiments that are going on right now, you know. And I think it does a disservice to everyone that's actually shopping for supplements here. Just because something works, it, it terkesterone works, but not in a way that these people are promoting it there as anabolic steroids here, because it's not, all right? It's not steroids, it's not a pro-hormone. Folks, y'all just got to cut it out there. You know, you got to really think about what you're actually buying these days. Okay? But that's all I'm going to say tonight here. Like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel. Click the link below.